Good afternoon. My name is Steve Whittem of Whittem Associates. Today I'm speaking on iLogic and how it can be used with Inventor 2009 and 2010. iLogic automates the tedious design tasks that we face every day. What I'm doing here is I've built a piece of furniture and I'm taking some of the rough opening dimensions so that I know what size drawers to fit within that space understanding the clearances for maybe the drawer slides or any other piece of hardware. What I've done is I've placed my top-level sub-assembly that has been programmed using iLogic and without any programming skills just with clicks and picks I have the ability now to take this very huge drawer and within a nice simple interface start changing the information associated with it the width, the height, the depth, even down to the joinery that I'm using. How many pins, what is the angle of the pins, and so on. Basically, it's my configurator. If I don't particularly like something, for example, too many tails, I'll change the number of pins to 3 over 4, and I have a full design change. And not only is it constructing, it is assisting me in design. I don't particularly like the thickness of the front. I think it should be one inch and I can change the front and it becomes a blind dovetail. Okay, once this is done, um, my configuration is complete. I will copy the design of my master sub-assembly, give it a new name, call it top left, top right, whatever I want, and place it within my top level assembly. Once it's here, okay, I have the ability to take this and place it using constraints into my piece of furniture. Normal mating constraints, flush constraints, and we're pretty well there. Now, any sub-assembly within Inventor can utilize iLogic. In this particular situation, I've had, I had certain parameters that I wanted to work with. And those parameters are the width, the height, the depth, and the thickness. And then, of course, the joinery itself. What would normally take thousands of lines of code, we were able to do in about 15 lines of code, and without any programming skills whatsoever. So anybody who is an inventor user has that ability. I've just opened up the top level drawer assembly and I'm looking at some of the rules that I've added and this is it very straightforward interface inside of Inventor that allows me to add that smart information to the sub-assembly itself. Once it's there we'll take the next um, next item that we have to do we have a larger drawer that we need to add so we'll go back to the master We'll trigger the iLogic tools and now change the width from you know 5 inches to 20 inches or so and I want to change the tails and have them more look more decorative than the originals again I don't know if I do this in real life but to show the ease of use you could see I added one tail here and that really wouldn't hold up well so I'm gonna go to two pins and you can see that I've just adjusted it and I can adjust the angle of the pins to make it more decorative so this becomes a real design tool not just a workhorse but it gives me the sense of does this look right and aesthetically that is very important in the wood industry uh, once I have that done I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna give it a new name call it center or middle or whatever I would like to do and then once I have that I'll place it into the um, piece of furniture and I'm pretty well moving along and I'll be pretty well done uh, with it so what else can we do with iLogic well we can control volume dimensional values material types you know feature and component activation or suppression and patterns okay without inventor iLogic um, these design rules would be very very difficult for me to uh, create. What's also important 
in this world is that in the woodworking industry, cutless, partsless are critical. I need to send this to the shop, whether it's CNC or whether it's being manually cut, and I need to know all the information associated with that particular drawer, that particular cabinet, those doors, because doors are done pretty much the same way. So we'll go to the bill of material, and you can see that in the bill of material we have two small drawers and one large drawer, and each drawer is showing you all the components, and each component has a length, width, and thickness, including any of the joinery that's there. So all the rough dimension of the stock is already there. If I pattern this or array it, you can see that um, it goes from three drawers to six and three drawers, and very, very simple tasks to finalize our particular product. Uh, this, simply, this simple example just barely scratches the surface of what can be done with Inventor iLogic. Um, and we can minimize the amount of effort it takes to get our projects out to the floor and to satisfy customers. Thank you once again for attending. My name is Steve Whittem.